Hello, my name is Janessa Wiley, and today I'm going to tell you some about the designer, Samani Legno. You probably know him more by the brand that he co-founded and created called Tokidoki. It's a um, illustrative company that they sell little figurines, purses, outfits, just different uh, prints, different um, things like that. They I've seen them around, like in Barnes and Noble and Hot Topic, Target. They sell in quite a few stores. But he created this, these characters himself, and then later um, co-branded with the company. So now they're being sold in stores. So this is just some background about him. Um, he drew a lot when he was a child, and he later led to his creating of these characters and the co-founding of the brand um, Tokidoki. He has um, a fascination with different world cultures, especially Japan, which you can see in his work, which if we go back to that page, you can see there's a lot of Japanese influence in there. Um, so a little quote from him on the side, he says that this brand, Tokidoki, is the hope, the hidden energy that everyone has inside. It gives us the strength to face a new day and dream about something positive and the hope that something magical will happen to us. Um, so that's a little quote from him under one of his characters. Uh, Tokidoki means sometimes in Jap Japanese. So that's a little bit about his his branding and his brand. So um, this is just some. This is a drawing someone did of some of his uh, characters. These were the the cactus uh, puppy ones and one kitty. It looks like. Um, and then below is just um, a link for a. A live drawing that he did of one of his characters. So if you want to check that out, those are pretty interesting. And now for this one, for a tutorial, I'm just going to show you kind of how to draw in his style. So on the side, these are his their uh, cactus kitty collections. So um, I'm just going to show you how to do a basic drawing of that. The one on the uh, right is the one that I drew, but we'll pull up Illustrator. So this is the one that I drew. So we're going to start file and new and we're gonna go 400 by 400 or you can do whatever size you want but that's what I'm gonna do so you're gonna start by selecting the circle the ellipse tool and holding down shift you're just gonna make a circle that looks good we'll do that and you're gonna want a color for your cat so mine my last one is blue maybe I'll make this one maybe I'll make this one like yellow so if we make yellow and we can color that in and then you'll select the ellipse tool again and this time make a circle for the face kind of down here maybe and you can look at a reference so you can make it arrange it kind of how you like because in the PowerPoint presentation these are just the ones that are they had up this is a collection that they sell so if you want to use one of them as a reference you can I'm just kind of creating my own right here so let's see. you want to make the stroke black and you can make it as thick as you want I think I'm gonna do two points and then I think the inside I'm gonna make how does this look? Now yeah, we'll just go with that. Now you're going to want the ellipse tool again, and these time you're going to want to make little shapes kind of like that, and you're going to want to make them black, and then you can just copy and paste it again and arrange it how you'd like. I think I'm going to put mine there. Now, if you look back, the one that I did, there's different styling and stuff you can do with the face, but first we're going to take the pen tool, we're just going to make some ears, so just draw some ears with the pen tool. I like to color mine the same as the, the what the face is going to be, just so like that, and I might give it a stroke of none so you can see the ears better, and then I just copy, whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen. I just copy and paste it. 
and bring it around to the other side and arrange it so it fits right. I might actually make them a little bigger. Yeah, something like that. Bring them down. So then you have the, the ears. Now, next I will make the tail. Bring it up like this and just make kind of a little shape like that. You can make it more round or you can make it more straight just so it looks like a tail. And then I think I'll give that one a stroke of none as well. Okay, and now we're gonna give his little nose, just put it down here. Make that black. Then you're gonna take the pen tool and just draw a little face kind of like that on him. Probably want it on stroke though, not fill. Bring that up. Let get in closer. Bring that up to his mouth. Whoops. And then he usually adds a little tooth or a little thing like that to him. So we'll put one of those on there. Okay, so it's starting to look, whoops, it's starting to look like the end result. So now it's just up to you. You can add different details on the face, on the, uh, where you want to put the little cactus bits. Although I think I am going to give him feet, as I forgot to do that. So just draw little things like that. And I think I'm going to make those yellow as well. I should make them blue. I think I'll make them bl blue. There we go. And then... We will copy and paste that. Oops. We'll put that on the other side as well. Okay, and there you go. That's how you uh, make basic shape of the um, the cactus kitties. So now you can just go through and add little cactus bits, kind of like this, and just add them how you want. You can do a multiple colored, however you would like. So that's a little bit about Simone Legno. Thank you for watching.